I've been on several sailings on the Scarlet Lady, and one event that I always look forward to is Scarlet Night. Parts of the shipwide party are awesome, and some others are just odd. I'm going to tell you all about Scarlet Night and answer some commonly asked questions. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. everyone, I hope you're having a splendid day, and if you're new here, welcome. We are having a rainy day here in South Florida, so it's the perfect day to sit down and film. And I have been wanting to do a video exclusively on Scarlet Night for a while. I'm very happy to get to sit down and finally discuss this strange soiree with you. So I'm going to tell you all about this event and give you some information that will help you have a better Scarlet Night. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first question I usually get when people ask me about Scarlet Night is, what exactly is it? On Virgin's website, they call it a culminating party of the Virgin Voyages experience, and it's supposed to be unique to each sailor. But in the simplest of terms, Scarlet Night is a theme night. It's a night where everyone is supposed to wear red or a splash of red. And don't worry, I'm going to talk about what to wear just a little bit later. Scarlet Night is not a single event. There are festivities all around the ship, and it culminates with a dance party under the stars. Now, I've heard that this party party is themed after the old saying, red sky at night, sailor's delight. Someone once told me that, but I never really heard that on any of my Virgin Voyages sailings, but that's what I've heard. So if that is the theme, they really don't highlight that on the ship. So before we go any further, let's just address the elephant in the room. I know there's been some speculation that Scarlet Night is a wild and crazy night full of debauchery and swinging. And in my experience, that's not the case. I've been on five virgin cruises and I've never seen any out of the ordinary behavior. It's pretty much just like any other cruise except there are no children on board. So either there's no swinging going on on board or the other passengers just don't find me and my husband that attractive. I guess either is possible. Now on my last sailing, I believe Scarlet Night was on night two, but I think this can vary. The ship really doesn't announce when it's Scarlet Night, so you're gonna wanna keep an eye on your day's activities on the Virgin Voyages app, and that will tell you when Scarlet Night is happening. Or better yet, just ask a crew member when you get on board. Now, if you want to get the most out of Scarlet Night, you're going to want to finish your dinner early and be at the On The Rocks bar on deck six right at 9 p.m. You can also go to deck seven, but just make sure you have a good view of the staircase. If you're there at 9 p.m., you should see the opening number. Crew members do a dance on the stairs to introduce Scarlet Night and get everyone in the mood to party. It's fun, but like most of the performances around the ship, it's not super elaborate or all that impressive, really. It's cute, it's fun, it's entertaining, but it's not mind-blowing. Now, one of the strange things about Scarlet Night is that there are just random performances in different parts of the ship. There's no one place to go so you can see everything. I think that's a little weird because most passengers miss a lot of the show. I guess that's what Virgin means when they say Scarlet Night will be different for every passenger. But it's odd, and in my opinion, it doesn't really work. Around this ship, crew members do things like hula hooping and juggling. There are some cool acrobatics too. I do love the costumes that the crew members wear. If you want to see the acts around the ship, my best tip is to look for a group of passengers wearing all access passes around their necks. These passes are given to some sweet guests and VIPs, and they get a guided tour around Scarlet Night. So if you see this group, follow them from place to place so you can see everything. Around 9.30 or 10 p.m., there's a wedding that's performed at the On The Rocks bar. Yes, a wedding. I've seen this wedding two or three times and I still don't really understand it. There might be an octopus involved, I don't really know. If you're at the On The Rocks bar having a drink, it's okay to watch, but I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to go and see the wedding. It's just a little weird, and like I said, I still don't understand exactly what happens during it. But one thing I totally get and love is the pool party. It starts around 10.30 p.m., and this dance party under the stars is a lot of fun. There's a DJ and performances, and sometimes passengers just jump in the pool in their clothes. But don't worry, no one's gonna push you in the pool. It's all voluntary. It's just a feast for the senses, and it's one of the most memorable deck parties I've ever been to. Now, on to another question that people typically ask. 
What do I wear? Well, you can really wear anything that you're comfortable in. You can go simple. You can just wear a red shirt or red pants or a red dress or a red skirt, and you're going to fit in just fine. Or if you want to get crazy and go in costumes, maybe you're there for a birthday party or a bachelorette party or something like that. You're with a group and you all want to dress in costume. That is perfectly fine too. No matter what you wear, you're going to fit right in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd also like to invite you to subscribe. If you like my content, it really helps me out. Have you ever attended Scarlet Night? If so, leave me a comment below because I would love to hear all about your experiences. If you'd like to talk Virgin Cruising with me just a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. The video on the left is 15 fast facts you should know before sailing on the Scarlet Lady. And the video on the right is seven secrets of the Scarlet Lady, where I give you my best insider tips. Until next time, I hope you have safe and happy travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye now.